Welcome, YouTube. I think it should be recording for YouTube. Uh, didn't miss much. Just a little loading screen. And then Timmy and Tommy walking up here. It's New Horizons. It's here. Uh, the game's out. Let me also get rid of this real quick. Get rid of that countdown. Okay. Got the uptime. Keep trying to keep it as minimalist as possible. I don't... I wish I wish my camera could cover nothing, but doing that would make the game tiny. I don't want to do that. Timmy, thank you for introducing me to the game. Let me be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Adorable. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. I love this little song, this little tiny little tune we got going. Little ditty. I love them. There's so much to look forward to, but first let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. As you can tell, I'm definitely going to be taking my time with this. And I'm Tommy. I haven't really gotten spoilers aside from like what was in the direct and stuff for how the intro works, so we'll be uh, we'll be going in as blind as I could get us. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, but let's get started, shall we? Here's what, we're, here's what we're also going to do. I'm also wearing a suit, by the way. I thought it'd be funny. 48 hour stream. Uh, here's, here's what we're going to do. Every time we have the amiibo for a character that we see, there probably won't be very many. We're going to... Hold up. There we go. We'll set them up on the on the, the AC switch. How's that? We'll, we'll, be, we'll be a little quirky like that. Timmy and Tommy amiibos, welcome to the, welcome to the switch. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? I love them. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Okay, so I did decide that we're going to go with Rojava. I almost started entering our town, our island name. Can't change this. Makes sense. Dude, this keyboard looks so good. Are you okay with Caleb? The world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. We'll be okay with a first name. Birthday. I'm going to go with my birthday. August 7. Do you hear this? Sounds adorable. It's August 7, your birthday. Yes, Timmy and Tommy. Caleb? Caleb? Let's see. Oh, yes. Here you are. Oh, I thought he was entering my name, not searching for my name. Gotcha. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Caleb. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. Oh, this is so good. Please choose your style. It doesn't even ask like your your gender or nothing. That's that's awesome. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make a dude. Is there a preview? No, you have to click on it to get the preview. Okay. We're we're gonna go through everything in this in this title screen right here for sure. This is gonna be a long intro video because this is gonna cover the whole intro. So sit tight. Let's see. I'm I'm probably just gonna go with this skin tone. We can always change this later. That's the thing. So we got eight hairstyles to start. We got four girly ones. I do like uh this this one's okay. That one's a classic. That one's pretty good. The other two are decent. Uh, this one's the classic. This one's also a bit classic. I do <laughs> I like that one. This is probably what we're gonna end up going with. Uh, but I, I am, I am a fan of this one. I think for now though, until we get more hairstyles, we are gonna be going with this. Let me pull up. Sin, welcome into the stream. Yas, let's go. We're making our character. I'm wearing a suit. It's uh, there's a lot to be hype about. 48 hour stream, baby. I apologize. I'm gonna. Cheese wants to know if it's 48 straight hours. Of course. Of course it is. All right, we're going with this hair, and then we got a lot of colors down here. Surprisingly. I do like I do like the uh the silver and the gray. I am a fan of those. Uh, I think for now we'll go with black, just because my hair is black right now. 
Uh, we'll, we'll be able to change this later, whenever. So just stick with that. There's a lot of eyes. All right, we'll start from over here. The girly ones. Girly girl ones. Eyelashes and stuff. Very cool. They're uh, they're pretty close to the bottom row. Just like pretty much just no lashes for most of them. Nice. There are like more feminine eyes, but they're all pretty much the same. Uh, I'm not really sure which ones we want to go with. Uh, I used these in Pocket Camp for a while. Just because like they're the ugliest eyes. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I think we're gonna go with these though. These are my favorite in Pocket Camp, as far as looks. And then so we got gray, deep, deep blue. We got a green, a different blue, brown and black. We're gonna go a shade of blue. Cause that's the color of my eyes. Uh, they're not quite that blue, but I guess that's what we'll go with. Then we got nose, mouth. I thought that was a little boat icon. But I'm glad to know it's it's nose and mouth. Oh no, I don't know which nose we're gonna go with. I think for now we're gonna go classic triangle nose. Most closely resembles my nose as well, but the cute little button nose is a nice touch. Mouth. <laughs> I like this one. It's a little funny looking. Why are you so quiet? Oh no. Why am I so quiet? Am I so quiet? Is the game loud? I'm gonna crank the game up a little bit. Did not think I was quiet. Also, why are you so dressed up? It's a special occasion, Sin. No, I can't hear nothing. Are you sure it's not on your end? I'll raise the gain a little bit just for you. Far enough. Heck yeah. How do you mess with the gain and stuff? <laughs> the the I forget why the uh, properties aren't popping up for this. There's a way to change it. I wasn't able to get it yesterday either. Um, I guess we're just screwed. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just I'll stick the mic closer to me. How's that? Should be good enough for you. I also raised the game. This is better? Okay. I'll just be not sure not to sneeze in the mic or sniff too hard. That does end up sounding pretty bad. I'll just lower it all the way down here. No, that's got that's got bad. That's bad. Do the uwu face? I don't know about the uwu face. I like it. I like it. No, I like I like the headset being down like this. It's like gamer tuxedo man. It's funny. It's hilarious. No, we're gonna go big smile. I think that's our strat here. Cheeks. We're alright with the cheeks. We're okay. No cheeks for me, sir. Does everything look good? Absolutely. We got our little dude. Not doing the uwu face. I apologize. Great, you're all set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. It is so exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands on both the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. So tell me, Caleb, where do you live now? We're gonna go... We're gonna go in the Northern Hemisphere. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. Damn. Yup. Yup. So naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay? Okay, so even though you're in North America, you could choose the Southern Hemisphere if you want. Sounds good to me. You're going southern? Okay, I respect it. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the northern hemisphere to choose from. 
Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. Okay, so oh, I I like this one with the little with the river circling it. That's really nice. It just got like waterfalls accompanying it as well. Um, they all look like they have about the same amount of uh area like to start out with because I'm not gonna be able to cross the bridge at first, so we're gonna be confined to that little area. Which is totally fine for all of these. It looks like I do want. I want one where the where the dock is is to the to the right of the place, but I'm not really sure how we get there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say which uh which map looks nicest. We'll go with. I'm mostly looking. At the island at the bottom, because that's the only thing you'll be able to change later. That you won't be able to change later. I think I'm I think I'm partial to this one right here. Hmm. So. Okay. There's the two southern. I, I think I don't like that. I think I like this. The two southern facing rivers. This one has one and then a left facing. There's no right facing, but honestly, that's I didn't want one, so it's okay. Uh, I think we're gonna go this. This is our this is our island. This is Rojava. Let's go ahead and get in here. Wonderful choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Uh, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? <laughs> um, I don't know what this question, what is the name of your island? It's going to be Rojava. I'm excited. Let's, I don't know what you say to that. I assume we get all of those, but... I guess I'll just answer, answer honestly. We'll go something to kill time. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. Look, Ink will fully cover all of your basic needs. <laughs> I think that was just an homage to the... Rojaba. Extremely close. <laughs> The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Cute. Adorable. Good morning, everyone. Here's the plane going off. There's no, uh, like, announcer lady. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of the Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. I was kind of hoping there'd be a like a human announcer, like the E3 trailer. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. I know more than you. The plane loading screen's cute. This is just a trailer. I've seen all this before. This is a nice this is a nice little homage to people waiting. Showing you a bunch of stuff you've already seen. <laughs> that's cute. Oh that's new. Ooh. Oh all this is new, okay. It's beautiful. Let me in chills a little bit. This is great. It's a great video game. 
not everyone has been keeping up to date with every single trailer ever. Look, no, it's for me, all right? <laughs> that loading screen. That that uh that trailer took like a half second to load. That's nice. Nice little flyover. We got pairs. <laughs> we got pairs. Oh, this is like that's probably my least favorite fruit. The last fruit I wanted to get. Oh, hello, my new friends. We're here. Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but we have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation. Don't call him the fearless leader. That's a little, uh, little fascist. Not gonna lie, brother. Little Hitler-y. No, I'm just kidding. You can call him whatever you want, Timmy. Uh, I hate for you to miss it. We're headed there right now if you'd like to move. L to follow us. Gotcha. First, I'm going to talk to my new friends. Hello, Sterling. Nice to meet you. We got to get a move on. Come on. Wait, no, I want to talk to... I want to know your name real quick. Cats. We can chat later. I want to see where this is going. Oh, look at his bling, dude. All right, so Cat and Sterling are our new best friends. Look at this freaking game, dude. Look how, look how, look how they walk. They're actually doing stuff and walking. Can I pick this up? No, I cannot. All right, let's do it. Look at look at the stuff. Look at the game. Oh, I don't think I can pick anything up yet, though. All right, go ahead. Good to talk to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Cat here? And how about Sterling? And there's Caleb, of course. Adorable. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventures are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Tom Nook, welcome to the Switch, brother. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook, Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, yes, yes, I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate. And, ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Excuse me. <laughs> I highly recommend picking up your tent from either Timmy or Tommy first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with you, since you're not holding the flag. Here you go, Caleb. Your very own tent. Heck yeah. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before baking. Yeah. Your final decision. <laughs> and you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. This is, this is beautiful. Once you put up your tent, Please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. You find a great spot. Oh. Is this 10 a.m.? Sin, is this 10 a.m.? <laughs> you would know better than me. Can we grab things now? Apparently not. A little lame. Oh, you you thinking about this spot? 
Uh, how did they, how did they say to pull up your map? Oh, that's my keyboard. Can't save right now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, where's my map? Oh, is it just in the corner there? Okay. No, I like that. I like that better. I can't hear it. The song. I could very faintly hear the voices. Okay. I'll 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 crank it a little bit. It's it's a very slow and quiet song. This game looks and sounds amazing. Our airport is uh red, orange, one of those two. But you can hear the song now. There's an echo now. Echo of the game? Or am I echoing? Alright, I'm gonna lower the game back again. There's an echo. Alright, I have no idea where I want to put my house. Um... I don't know. He's thinking about right here, right on the beach, huh? Not a bad spot. I think I'd want something a little up. Maybe something like, like this little open area looks nice. Just something, uh, your voice, it's still echoing. This is not ideal. Alright, is it still echoing? <laughs> let's let's pick our home location. While sin is nope. Heck yes. Now we can pick our home. Let's talk to let's talk to Cat real quick. You're wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Caleb, right? See? Told you I had it. I'm Cat. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's a pretty big decision. Ugh. You're right. Of course, no matter where we settle down on this little island, at least we'll be neighbors. Alright, so not not really looking for help just yet. Probably gotta talk to them a few more times, and then they'll ask me to help them. I think they're, they're fine to go wherever, but you can't hear the game. Like, at all? I guess I guess we want the game to be louder. Why does it make my voice echo? You heard Cat, very faintly. Alright, how's that? Should be, should be cranked a bit. It's pretty loud, though. I feel like that's too loud. How's that? No echo, either? Alright, that, that was all I was worried about. Up a little more, TBH? Okay. Uh-oh. Accidentally unpin Streamlabs from the taskbar. Look like I didn't close it. Alright, we raised it. Alright. I'm gonna put my home... We have no bridges or nothing. I have nothing to base it off of. So that's what makes this decision so tough. Oops. Tent build here. Did I put my tent here? Let me imagine it.
Seems like a good spot. You're echoing? Send you lied. You just started to? Son of a bitch. I don't know if it's my mic or if it's Streamlabs. I don't know what makes the echo. I'm just trying to figure it out. It says headset microphone now. I'm not really sure. Audio. Set that back. How is everybody on this great day? It truly is a great day. We are all good. How are you? I think it is echoing, because every time I talk, it raises. Sin, get this weave shit out of here. Thank you. There it goes, I think. No. No. There's no mic on the Elgato, is there? That would make no sense. So why is it picking up my mic? It's coming from the Elgato on the mixer, I think. Because every time I talk, it goes up too. Is it still echoing? I can't just let it keep echoing. This is the worst. <laughs> Let's go with this. They're not they're not telling me quick enough if my shit's echoing. I set up my tent, that's a big first step. Let's go. Can we head on in? Tom Nook still needs to tell me a few things, so I'll check this out later. Okay. Let's see how my how my villagers are coming around. Y'all y'all got this. I like those spots, those are fine. Let's go talk to Tom. Output device. Input device. Same thing. Okay. Are we still echoing? Likely. Alright, I'm gonna pull up my own stream, because, uh... Need answers. <laughs> I didn't change anything, I don't think, since last. But still. Let's see what we got going on here. So it is echoing. This, what's up? Welcome into the stream. How are you doing? We are running a giveaway. We've been, uh, we do it every month. Uh, the giveaway ends at the end of the month. It is echoing, so I apologize. What am I missing here? <laughs> There's something going on. I'm just gonna lower the game audio back real quick. Let's see, let's see how it is like that. Alright, well now I have to say something again. Okay.
It's still actually echoing, is the problem. It's still actually echoing, is the problem. Just a tiny bit. Oh, well, obviously now, now it's like echoing. Just a tiny bit. Oh. Because I have the stream up on, on my phone. Um, okay. So, I don't know what's up with the Okado. I wish I did. I can't... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know. I have to not have something selected, I think is what it is. Here we go. Now we have properties and stuff. Heck yes. Okay. No, give me just one second, please. We should be able to figure this out real quick. Properties. Oh, that just takes you to the Elgato. Okay. Oh. <laughs> For whatever reason, the Elgato is connected to my webcam. There we go. That should do it. Okay. Yeah, it is using the webcam as an audio device. There's a mic on my Logi. Ah, uh, Caleb, you must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the other may appreciate your assistance. You want me to set up their tents, too? No, their, their spots are fine. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to, ju feel, to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble, because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here and think it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. So now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. <laughs> Looks good for me. Oh, you can just have them, like, re-roll their spot, too. It's dope. Well, if you're sure, actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent there... Oh, I like your tent, cat. It's, it's better than mine. Looks nice, don't it? Yeah, it looks great. Cat, you and I are going to be best buds. I did get rid of the chat box to do that. Damn, you got cat? Yeah, I, I, I've never had cat. Um, seems a little, uh, a little uggy, but we're going to give cat a shot. Sounds good? Heck yes. From now on, this won't just be just anywhere on the island. It's going to be my own, my, oh jeez. It's going to be my home sweet home. <laughs> Cat, welcome to the crew. Can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock. I wonder how that Sterling guy is doing. He might be having as much trouble as I was. Maybe we should go see if he needs help too. Yeah, I know. I got to go help him. That's okay. We got pears. It's a sad day. Sterling. Yo, I'm Sterling. You're Caleb, right? Nice to meet you. Scraw. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's got to have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Caleb? Looks good to me. You think so? Awesome. Okay, then how about we do a little visual visualization exercise together? If I put my tent here... Aw, Sterling's tent is also cute. Pretty cool, right? Looks great. He did get, he did destroy that pear tree that's right there. All right, looks like we have a winner. I'm gonna put down stakes right here and never look back. Sounds good. That was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. Don't tell me you already helped Cat out too. You're like, like, a true champion. I just got here, so I don't have anything ready. But I'm gonna reward you for this once I'm settled in. Aw. Thank you, Sterling. It looks like it's time to sprint back to the plaza. Oh, let's go. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. 
Of course, you can sleep on it for a while. Hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Cat, Tommy, and Sterling can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Caleb and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Alright everyone, let's get to it. Caleb, would you come see me for a moment? Ah. Of course, Tom Nook. Ah, Caleb, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches to do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So, when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the pear-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real pears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to take these, though. So, they should uh, auto-stack. They do. That's awesome. We can also mess with our, our clothes. What? Oh, I thought it took, like, full-on took your shirt off. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, here's one, two, three. I guess we should shake these to get more, huh? I think I already shook this one. Oh, there's more. Oh, I grabbed a weed. Alright, so that's it for that. Nothing in this one. Skip the pear tree for now. This is awesome. <laughs> Yo, Sin! Appreciate the subscription. I'm not flossing, though. For your own sake. Oh, heck yes. <laughs> How do I dab? Um, I think... Oh, heck yes. I think the dab is, uh, is a donation. I want to say. That might be another Fortnite dance. I'm not sure. Let me... Make the space stamp, the spaceman dab rather. No, I got you. Let me check my my alert box settings real quick. We'll find out how to make the spaceman dab. Okay, it is bits or donations does the trick. So you wanna you wanna make them dab? Gotta fork over even more cash. Oops. This butterfly is so pretty. This one's definitely new. I wanna make a freaking Cinny. Nice dab. Appreciate that. <laughs> we got the dab going. Let's go. Dab city. TBH Spaceman dab line go down you'd love to see it oh where's where'd my stick go there it is I moved the camera how do I change it back okay oh you get all zoomed in there I like that okay I can't spend anymore because I need gas money still that's fair <laughs> Don't, um, don't, don't be, don't be putting yourself in a bad sitch just to make streamer man go happy. Oops. I think I picked up more weeds. Alright, we should be good. I think I got plenty of branches. I'm just over here freaking... Hanging out with the butterflies and stuff. It's chill? Okay. I still got 44 and gas is cheap. Gas is cheap right now. 30 is enough to get home with normal prices. Oh, nice. 
Yeah, it's not crazy. Where, um... Also, why can't I simp you? You mean, like, why am I not selling fee picks? Oh, no, I have 24. <laughs> he wanted 10. <laughs> Sterling sweeping over here. That's adorable. Oh, good, good. Caleb, it looks like you've managed to collect up the tree branches, hmm? You found even more than I asked. Yeah, my bad. I only need the 10, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. I'll take what we need off your hands now. Only fans when? Yes, yes, I should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this des desolate island with such a hard worker. Heck yes. Speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like pears, they smell like pears, and they even taste like pears. In fact, they're 100% without a doubt genuine pears. So, will you collect six of them for me? Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough pears for everyone, haven't you? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, those were for me, but that's okay. You can have them. <laughs> well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started on the preparations. I had no idea he was going to ask me for pears. I thought he said he was going to collect them, but that's okay. We got pears for him. Look at that loading screen. I want apples. Y'all, I wanted apples too. Wait, you can get strawberries as a fruit? Oh wait, can you? I thought you said you could. That, that, would, that would have been very surprising. Uh, from what I've seen, I've seen zero strawberries in this game. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Strawberries would be a great addition. Damn. Yeah, I agree. Let's get started with the festivities. Light that bonfire, Nook. Let's go. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting, I agree. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. Apples it is then? Yeah. If strawberries are in the game, I think they would be my favorite fruit as well. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Oh! Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, <laughs> but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that, with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? I've been likened to a strawberry before, so that's why I'm sort of obsessed with them now. Oh, yes. <laughs> you, you, you're very strawberry-esque. That's, that's fair. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And, in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think, and when everybody's ready, I'll present your ideas. <sighs> Suggest a name for the island. You can't change this. This can be seen by others during local slash online play, so pick an appropriate name. Of course. We're going Rojava. Are you okay with Rojava? The world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. Alright, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Oh, I liked those. <laughs> what splendid variety. Yes, yes, each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Caleb seems to has the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Caleb suggested Rojava. Aw, thanks, guys. Wow, that's an overwhelming positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Rojava. Aww. I love them. Name it stars. Or is that a slur? <laughs> Splendid, then from now on, this island will be known as Rojava. Well, Caleb? It's censored? Oh. Not really? Oh, I gotcha. I got. 
I got gotcha. you. Since you've proven yourself by naming Roshava, I'd like to rely on you for the other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. I just didn't want to put stuff in your chat. And <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Rojava. Let's go. Res rep, let's go. Caleb, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? A word or two? You can count on me and howdy. I'll go with howdy. Woo! <laughs> hmm, so. Howdy. Yeah. <laughs> We've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative. It's too fitting for you? It is. I'm big Texas man. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Aw, yo, it's pear smoothies. Everyone has a beverage in hand. It's fresh juice made from pears on our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then without further ado, a toast to Rojava and the happiness of its residents. Cheers. Heck yes. <laughs> What's bigger, you or Texas? Reminds me of those maps where it's like, oh, you don't think Texas is big? And then it's like Texas, and inside of it, it's like Australia, and New Zealand, and Europe, and <laughs> Texas. <laughs> it's so good. Ooh, a little slide. This is a great feature. When you like can't really fit through something, it lets you like kind of clip through it a little bit. You're like, "Ope." Ope. <laughs> I love it. It's the theme song, dude. Is it on the radio? <laughs> I love it. Thanks, I love it. Ah, Caleb, having a good time, yes. Okay, so this first intro part is not tied to like actual time. That's why it's like nighttime. You got a PNG link for me? Want to know just how big Texas really is? <laughs> yeah, exactly that. The world. <laughs> it's so good. Let me, uh. <laughs> So good. You got another one for me? <laughs> Chris Christie. That's so good. The Soviet Union. Wikipedia. Yo. I think I think I like the classic a little more though, not gonna lie. You got a third one. Actual size of Texas. <laughs> silly. Silly silly. There's a fourth one. One more. <laughs> That's the same one. Sin, you sent the same one. <laughs> Fuck, she says. Ah, Caleb, having a good time. Yes, I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short map, a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. I'm not tired yet. Of course, you work hard and you play hard, hmm? By all means, carry on. Just stop by and see me for a quick chat before you turn turn in. I have something to give you. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to talk to these guys first. I think once you do that, that ends the day. Should I collect more material? In the hopes that it refreshes the next day? I think so. I don't know when it refreshes. I have no idea about this game yet, so. Oh! Yo! Oh my god. There's so many branches. There, Unamas. <laughs> oh no! It's Kabutops. <laughs> I think that's Kabutops. Don't roast me. Yo, so many branches. 
There's only one more after that. I don't know how the branches work. Do they not even refresh? Are they infinite? Seems like they're just random chance. Maybe. Maybe they're random chance, but then after a certain time, none, none come out. Oh, more keep coming. I have no idea. How many branches do we have, though? We have 30 already. Oh, wait, there's a second branch. Tree branches? Tree branch. Oh, it stacked the caps at 30. Okay. I was wondering uh, where it stopped stacking. I never found that out. Tammy, welcome in. Yeah, the same uh, color as Sin, so I thought it was a message from Sin as well. I was like, why is Sin saying hi? And then I... I see who it is. Welcome in. We just started the video game. Just grabbing some sticks. Grab, grab the shell too. Oh, it's a crab. Look at it, dude. I want to catch you so bad, dude. It's alright. We'll we'll start up the day. We'll we'll get tomorrow going. We'll go talk to the rest of the residents. We got cat. We're all drinking pear smoothies. Cat and Sterling. I feel like I'm on vacation, but we actually get to live here. Heck yeah. Sitting around a campfire with cups of pear juice, it almost feels like we're family. You can call me bro. I got you. We all just met, but chilling by the fire like this makes it feel like we've been best buds for ages. Can I talk to you while- Oh! Oh, I wish I could talk to you like that. I cannot talk to Cat. I can spin though. Heck yeah. A party around a campfire on a deserted island. Now this rocks. I agree, cat. Never settled an island before. Rojava, this is gonna be rad. <laughs> Rojava, Rojava. What a great name, just rolls off the tongue. Not, not really, in my experience. <laughs> Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. We're here to act as your support staff, but we've never lived on an uninhabited, uninhabited island before, either. It's so beautiful. It is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love. I am going to have to run uh, quick ads to uh, to get the uh, pre-rolls off so the other people joining don't get ads. One uno, uno momento, please. I'm not sure how helpful we'll be in this unfamiliar place, but... We'll rely on each other as fellow residents. Sounds adorable. Timby and Tomby. Ah, Caleb, having a good time, yes? I know this is a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means go ahead, we'll keep the fire burning. Maybe I'll go do that. Sounds good to me, but first you'll probably want this. Thanks, Tom Nook. It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well, hmm? Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all from me for now. Sweet dreams, Caleb. This game is beautiful. Oh, they're all the same weed. Can you replace weed? Plant one. You can, but it... Oh, it is different. Maybe they sprout back up. Is that two? That's one. Okay. I'll take these back over here. I um I do like the way the weeds look. But uh even more than the weeds, I like the regular grass. I think we're gonna, honestly we're going to clear out all the weeds. We don't need them.
I have no idea how the trees work. So now that the game is out, I kind of don't really care about spoilers. So I'm going to be looking stuff up. Probably. Not right away. Not at all. But pretty soon. Yeah. In like, in, at, by the end of my 48 hour stream, I'll all the same. Yeah. By the, um, by the end of my stream, uh, well, everyone will pretty much be on equal footing. Aside from the people that got the game like weeks ago, but we don't need to talk about that. Camping cot. Oh, fancy. Hang on, I gotta move it around a little bit. There we go. I like this. Let's open up our package. Got a little radio. It's cute. Got a little lamp. I just noticed something. What's up? <laughs> Welcome Horizons is currently playing. I love it. Rest my head for a little while. Rest. I'm getting sleepy. So all the patterns for the beds are not the same. Apparently not. Mine's pretty cute. I like it. I love it. Oh, it's KK. What's up, dude? <laughs> so... Looks like you decided to make your way in the world. Get out there. Explore new frontiers. KK, let me grab your amiibo real quick, sir. KK was next. Set him up on the switch. For everybody I have amiibos of, I'm busting them out so they can come hang out with us. That's all the way, right, daddy-o? You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world is made for exploring, you know. Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. KK is on the Switch. He's on the Switch right now, dude. This is the spoiler that you saw. The KK looks incredible. It's insane. It looks even better in person. Like, I see the preview here. It, it, looks, it looks amazing. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. <laughs> yeah, man, friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself, my bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up and to your, up, up to your new life. So this isn't real KK, this is dream KK. <laughs> oh, well listen up, that rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Is KK God? Maybe. Maybe. Cool, when you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life, and I'll catch you later. I'm so excited. Look at him playing the guitar, dude. He's doing different... Freaking... Oh, jeez. Different notes? What are you... What are you I forget what you call those. <laughs> I haven't played guitar in forever. Caleb, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Oh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. I'll be here when you're ready. Yeah, let's wake up. Pondering is currently playing. I like Pondering. <laughs> it's a good song. The loading screen. Oh, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. I like our shirt. <laughs> or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. Yeah, I think uh, if you play at night, it says, oh, hey, nice nap. But if you play during the day, it does this. That's adorable. I slept that long? I'll just say, wow, I needed that. Oh, ho, ho, yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip. At a major life event. 
Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust uh, to life on our, in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? Oh, let's go, the Nook Phone. It's very own Nook Phone. I had these made especially for island residents. Thank you, Tom Nook. Uh, I want to make sure it's working, right? So you could try, could you try turning it on for me, hmm? Oh, welcome. Adorable. Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Say, Caleb, have you ever used a smartphone before? I have one of my own. Very good, then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, I think you'll find it much more useful than the phone you already have. I have one more thing for you. I'll probably use it more than the one I have now at this point. It's your itemized bill. Damn! So this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone. Hmm? Bring your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. Bells? What are bells? Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, well then. Wait! You don't have any bells. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't think of this. Ah, of course. Well, no need to worry. <laughs> I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. Whew. Keep yawning. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. What's that? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living here or living your life here on Rojava. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees and much more. So the bottom line is, you'd need 49,800 bells to pay off your move-in fees, but with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. Ooh, that's a lot of miles, though. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. Oh, jeez. And you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Rojava and a client of Nook Inc. Thank you, Tom Nook. I'm about to start tearing up here. Y'all, I got mail already. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo. From now on... Island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator in the top right corner. You can also save and quit your game after pressing a uh, minus button. Alright, let's check our mail first things first, of course. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, it's Nintendo. Nintendo hooking us up, dude. Dear Caleb, congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. Place present in pockets. Let's favorite this. Dear Caleb, thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates as well. Place present in pockets. Dear Caleb, thanks for using the specially colored Joy-Con controllers released in association with Animal Crossing New Horizons. To show our appreciation, we're sending you this gift. We hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Thank you, Nintendo. Let's see what we got. So this should be the first gift. Simple DIY workbench crafting thingy. Okay. A Nintendo Switch. Thank you. AC and H Nintendo Switch. Yo, that's adorable. You get it in game. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm going to... uh. I'm going to use these Joy-Cons, actually, just to get fully immersed. I just realized I've been using my Pro Controller this whole time. So we'll get these going real quick. Yo! It's KK Metal, dude. That's a jam. 
It's very quiet. Uh, okay. Let's get these controllers going. <laughs> One second. <laughs> There we go. Adorable. Alright, let's get in here. KK Rock is currently playing. Oh, it's KK Rock, my bad. Use that on. Alright. Oh my god. Let's move this up a little bit. King KK, hell yeah. Just like in real life, I have two Nintendo Switches. Oh, this one's just on the stand. There's no dock for it. Can I interact with it at all? Take pictures using various filters and effects. The pictures will be saved to the album on the home menu, and other users who use the same system will be able to see them. Oh, I turned it on. I just want to take a picture of my switches real quick. Uh, how do I move this around? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I like this thing, I think. Can I pose? A little bit. We can also zoom. Get some zooming going. Frame. Oh, that's cute. I like soft a lot. That's really cute. We'll go soft just to make use of the filters. Oh, that's how you do that. Okay. All right, let's go. Thank you. It's a great camera setting. Oh. Nook Miles, let's check them out. Nook Miles, you've enrolled in the Nook Mileage program. Earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook Stop in the Resident Services Center. Sounds good. Make the most out of island life, earn Nook Miles. Rojava Miles, you've traveled a long way just to move to our little island and you enrolled in the Nook Mileage program, so you earned your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles by just enjoying island life. <laughs> Claim it. Nook Inc's patron. Gotcha. Alright. Let's check out all of them. Okay. Angling for perfection, learning how to fish is an essential skill for living on a remote island. Nook Inc. encourages all island residents who are aiming to become fishing masters. One of the goals of Nook Inc. is resident togetherness. Our uh, gregarious greetings initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with residents. Try to talk to all your neighbors every day. You've got the bug. Earn miles just for catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that wouldn't be surprising someone in their sock drawer. Flower power. Planting flowers makes our island more beautiful and can earn you miles, so grow wild. Yes, yes. Pick the bunch you'll get Nook Miles based on the amount of fruit you've sold. Remember, if you sell our island specialty fruits on other islands, you might be able to get a better price. Go ahead. Be shellfish. You can earn Nook Miles based on the number of seashells you sell. That's not easy to say. And remember, you'll get different amounts of bells for different types of shells, so pay attention. Hoard reward. Put more furniture in your house. Nook Inc. will give you Nook Miles based on the number of indoor furniture items you have, so you're earning rewards for making your house a home. This is 3 out of 5. I think I have 5. But okay. Island Shutterbug, congratulations on taking your first island photo. Please do show off your wonderful photos, whether they're impulse snaps or brilliant compositions. Thank you. Adorable. Edit credit. Your passport has some information you can edit. Nook Inc. will give you Nook Miles to folks who customize their profiles. But take it slow, think about it, and make it your own. Bulletin board event. Picture this, getting Nook Miles from Nook Inc. the first time you write something on an island bulletin board. Keep using bulletin boards to communicate with everyone on the island. 
You can display furniture outside, right? Well, here's a little incentive for you to show off what you've got. You'll earn Nook Miles based on the number of furniture items you set up outside. So we're going to be cranking on these Nook Miles for sure. First custom design, learn to use your custom design app, lets you personalize your clothes and furniture. So much fun to be had. Alright, so that's what we got so far. There's a good amount. Wow, there's a lot of stuff we can do. Okay. I'll try to keep all of those in mind. Custom designs. With this app, you can create custom designs to wear on the clothing or display around the island. When you save custom designs to the app, you can share them with other island residents. There's a chance that your custom designs will be seen by other players during their play. Please don't, yeah. Airplane flag is adorable. <laughs> Transparent ones are also cute. Look how many freaking, look how many you get. That's awesome. Deserted Island flag is also great. Self-portrait flag. Where is face paint? That's adorable. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Plaid outfit. Let's um let's put the plane on. That's cute. I love it. I think I want to put this on, actually. For now. Just for now. Map. Map. Check the map for your current location. You can also press X to change the setting and choose whether to display the mini-map during your day-to-day -day activities. Gotcha. This is great. <laughs> I wanted, okay, I didn't know that was the airport, but now I know. That's okay. Off while moving. Sounds good. Passport. Your passport information is shown here. This information may be seen by other players. You can change your photo, title, or comment at any time. Customize them to show off your style. Can we edit our passport photo? Select a passport photo. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thanks, I love it. <laughs> Alright, let's edit this comment. What? Add a short comment to your profile. I don't know. I don't know what comment to add. <laughs> I'm gonna get ads going again real quick. What do you comment? Hmm. I have no idea. Let's see. Uh, I want to check real quick how uh, New Horizons is doing on Twitch. It was at like 1.2k when I went to bed last night. Like before the game was out anywhere. So it's probably popping off right now. New Horizons, 114,000 viewers already. It's not even out in North America yet until tonight. Oh, all the big streamers are playing it. Nobody I'm following is playing it, though. Yeah, there's quite a few big streamers playing it right now. A lot of Japanese streamers. Makes sense, because it's out. <laughs> Got the game, got this game first because I'm Aussie. Gotcha. Heck yeah, looks good. 
is is popping off, dude. New Horizons is popping off. Add a short comment. Hello. <laughs> Looks good. Okay, Nook Miles, I think we got new ones for doing that. The main reason I wanted to do that. Get Miles. Let's go. 300 more miles. We're getting close to paying off our thing already. Rescue services. Use the service for an emergency situation on the island when your path is blocked and you're stuck. You'll be sent to a place such as your home or resident services. Nook miles are generally required to use this service. Call rescue service? Nope. I'm good. What song is this? Marine Song 2001. I like it. You can turn that back off now. I just... Damn, we, we didn't make it very far. We checked our mail, took it back in, and then we started messing with our phone. Alright, here's the day. We got a notification on our phone. Wow, that was over an hour. Let's probably get, uh, take this over to YouTube. Instead of letting it go on for too long. <laughs> um, yeah, we can do that. We're kind of we're, we're in the free exploration phase. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, and uh, we'll, we'll start uploading this video. All right, thank you for watching YouTube. I'll be streaming this more uh, daily.